Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk to you today about back to school and especially about immune support and a lot of the things that we can do to help our kids and our families to stay healthy um, in the middle of back to school stuff. So um, I want you to know as a teacher that uh, I was very aware that uh, teaching is a dirty job, I guess you could say, um, in the sense that it's physically dirty. Kids touch everything, they snot on things and sneeze on things and get things gross. And the younger the kids, the worse it is. And um, it's germ city. And one of the things that we used to joke about is that we would teach in a Petri dish because everything was growing on things all the time, right? And so it was just one of those things that you got used to and you knew that every winter you were gonna get sick and you knew that the kids were gonna get sick and half the time they'd come to school and either know they were sick or not know they were sick and share it with everybody. And it's just the way things are. So especially given what's going on right now in the world, um, I wanna to talk to you about ways to boost your immune system. And I wanna encourage you to think about being proactive ahead of time so that you're intentional ahead of time so that when things happen, you're actually ready for it and you can actually um, be prepared and feel prepared. That's really where it's at. So On Guard, you knew I was gonna go there. On Guard is the protective blend. It has been shown to be effective against both bacteria and viruses. It comes in a variety of different forms and I wanna to talk to you about a couple of those today. The first one I wanna to talk to you about is On Guard Touch. On Guard Touch means it's got the On Guard blend in a 10 milliliter roller bottle that's already pre-diluted to use with kids. So it's a great way to take and apply On Guard. It's got the fractionated coconut oil already in it, so it's not gonna be too much for your kids. I would say probably ages three or four and older, something like that. But take the On Guard, put it on their lymph glands, put it down their spine, put it over their, their liver, put it on the bottoms of their feet. That would be a great way to help them to be able to get and stay healthy. On Guard, touch. Wonderful thing. Another thing is, did you know that doTERRA makes beadlets? So the beadlets are teeny tiny little soft gels, but they're super small. If you think of like a sewing pin that has the little ball on the end of it, it's about that big. It's got a quarter of a drop of On Guard oil blend in it, and it's the perfect size for little kids to be able to swallow. And worst case, if they end up um, popping it in their mouth. It's going to be a little warm because it's got cinnamon and clove in there, but it won't really hurt them. But they can swallow it that way and get some On Guard in them to help keep them healthy from the inside out. Another thing I want to tell you about is On Guard soft gels, and that's actually what I used all the time whenever I felt the least little bit of something coming on. When I knew that there was a kid that was sick, and by the time I got home that day, I started to feel the little throat thing going on, or I'd breathe in and I could feel just a little bit of tightness or something, I automatically went to go pop in the On Guards and they, the soft gels, and they were wonderful. Really kept me healthy and safe and back to school the next day, almost every time within a half an hour, not a half an hour, I'd say 12 to 24 hours, I was all the way back to normal again. So it was a wonderful thing to have those On Guard soft gels. The beadlets and the soft gels, I would tell you to use whenever you are in a transition. So that would mean the beginning of season, so like when winter comes on, when fall starts changing, things like that. Whenever there's back to school time, that's a perfect time. I would say two to three weeks to use both of those things. The little beadlets with your littler ones and the On Guard soft gels with the older ones. Um, I would tell you maybe if you're going on vacation, if you're going on a trip, if someone is moving, you're moving or someone's moving in or you've got any type of a transition going on, that's when you're gonna put that in there because that's when your body is most likely to be assaulted by the nasty germs that are out there. So on guard beadlets, on guard soft gels. Um, the other thing is to um, use a diffuser with on guard blend in it anytime anyone is getting sick. Or if somebody's acting just a little teeny bit like they're getting sick, it'll help everybody else to keep from getting whatever's going on. Next thing I wanna talk about, supplements. So if your body gets the nutrition that it needs, it is absolutely going to be better equipped to fight off anything that's gonna come and attack it. So getting the nutrition into your body is going to be key and the same with your kids. So um, the Lifelong Vitality Pack is actually my favorite doTERRA um, product that they have. Um, mostly because, it, not that I enjoy taking pills all the time, but I do enjoy the way that I feel when I take them. 
Um, I have more energy. I sleep better. I have more focus. I'm in a better mood. There are so many side effects that are positive. I'd call them side benefits, right? From actually having the, the lifelong vitality pack and taking it. If your kids are maybe 80 or 90 pounds, they can start taking a lifelong vitality pack at a quarter of a dosage. If they get to about, I don't know, 100 to 120 pounds, they can be on a half dosage of lifelong vitality. If they're younger than that, or if they have a hard time swallowing things, you can always get them the A to Z chewables. So those are some really good alternatives to be able to get nutrition, food-based, bioavailable, patented process to be able to have it enter our, our cells and do the things it needs to do. Awesome, awesome nutrition for you and for your family. If your kids are over 120 pounds, they can take a full dosage of the lifelong vitality. Even if they're only 13 or 14, if they're over 120 pounds, they can take a full dosage because their body's big enough for it. So all of that to say supplements are where it's at as far as proactivity goes. All right, gut health. Gut health is immune, immune health. So uh, 70 to 80% of your immune, immune system is located in your gut. So there are a couple of things to help you with that to help keep your gut healthy so that your immune system will be healthy so that hopefully you won't come down with anything. Terrazyme. Terrazyme is digestive enzymes. Terrazyme actually helps your body to be able to break down the foods that you eat and that your kids eat to be able to better absorb them and get the nutrients out of them. Can your kids take terrazyme? Absolutely they can. What if your kids have a hard time swallowing things but they need terrazyme? You can break open that little capsule and dump out the um, powder inside onto whatever food or put it in some applesauce or even just drink it in some water and that will help them to be able to get all of the, the benefits of the terrazyme to be able to break down their food. Probiotics, gotta have the probiotics. So that is all about your gut flora. Your intestinal flora are how your body prevents nasty bacteria from being able to take root in your gut and in your intestines to be able to have negative effects. So if you're working on getting um, the nasty bacteria out or you just don't want any nasty bacteria to come in and settle, probiotics are really where it's at. There's a wonderful PB Assist uh, probiotic that's for adults and for teens. There's an incredibly delicious PB Assist Junior that's actually a double encapsulated uh, powder. Each one of the little granules is double encapsulated to make sure that it actually gets to your intestines where it needs to be working. So PB Assist, PB Assist Junior, two good choices. Two other things I would tell you regarding supplements. That would be get yourself a good bioavailable vitamin C. On, on this one, I'm going to tell you that it's going to need to be something that's easy to take and don't worry too much about the um, quality of it because vitamin C is one of those things that you can get nitpicky about it, but vitamin C is kind of vitamin C is vitamin C. Um, so anything that you can do to get the vitamin C into you and into your kids, do it. Um, that should be especially when they're sick or when they're um, transitioning. The last thing is going to be a high quality vitamin D. Now vitamin D is different than vitamin C. Quality matters with vitamin D. So you're gonna to want to look for a bioavailable, um, I guess you would say something that's going to mimic what your body needs, mimic what your body will absorb. And that would be something I would tell you to go to a pharmacy or someplace, um, supplement store, someplace where somebody carries high quality um, supplements. Go there and ask them for the best vitamin D supplement that you have and get yourself on some vitamin D. That should be an ongoing thing, especially the farther north you live, the more you're going to need that because you don't get as much sunshine. All right, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is something called the symphony of the cells. So the symphony of the cells is a way to apply essential oils to your back and the bottoms of your feet so that you can get all of the benefits from them. There's a very simple symphony of the cells protocol that takes four different oils, takes maybe five or 10 minutes to put it on. You have to have a bare back and you have to have bare feet. You put um, frankincense on first, and then you're gonna put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil after that. And then there are three more oils that you will put on top of that. 
and I'm actually going to post a picture of um, what that's going to look like and which oils those are. And you just put the oils, one or two, three drops, depending on the size of the person, the younger the kid, the fewer the drops, um, down their spine and rub them on the bottoms of their feet. Um, and then you're going to let them smell them. And then you go through all four oils and then you're done. That simple and that's going to have a profound effect on being able to have your um, immune system do all the things it needs. So I would encourage you guys to take a minute and think through which one or two of these things you can apply. Don't worry about doing them all, but pick one or two things and start adding them to your regimen every day and that watch you and your family get a little healthier or at least not get so sick. All right. Thanks so much for listening.